Hey guys, happy Thanksgiving. I'm here for a review of good old Power Rangers in Space. Unfortunately, this is probably going to be my last Power Rangers in Space Megazord review. And why, you ask? Well, there's a Titanus issue. Silver Titanus, I might say. I don't know if I should get them or not. I don't know. Costs a lot of money. Not not seen in the show, but who cares? I'm wasting time. Let's go on with, with my Thanksgiving review of the Mega Voyager. Personally, to me, the Mega Voyager is probably what I would call, you know the standard Megazord for a Five Ranger team. Granted, granted only that this was the only five, five Zord Megazord throughout the entire PR in space saga. And I, and I will say that these Zords are, they're actually, they're actually pretty good. These Zords were found by basically using Zordon's key cards, and they were, well, you know, they were used by the Five Rangers. So let's just go in order of the five Zords, starting with Mega V1. Mega V1 is Andros' Zord, obviously. It is basically the only Zord that can basically fight on its own. It has the hands, the legs, the head, you know, go figure. Its only real attack was just shooting beams through these little cannons on its shoulders. And that was really all it could really do, besides walking around. In terms of articulation, his arms can go up like that, they can bend at the elbow, they can go all the way down like that. They can go back. And again, they can only go pretty much that far back. It's only form of uh, feet articulation just by splitting them and splitting them like that, but that's only when you're gonna form the Megazord. So, yeah, there's that. Let's move on to Mega V2, the Shuttle Voyager. This was controlled by Carlos, obviously. Um, it's basically just like a, it's just a simple spaceship, obviously. Nothing really much to talk about him. He can just, you know, just like fire lasers from its wings. And it's not really real articulation, except you can pull this up. That's where you can probably shoot another beam, although I haven't seen it on uh, the actual TV show. This is the only way you're going to form the shield for the Megazord. But, but well, other than that, it, it only just holds the head and the shield. That's all, that's all you can really do. Next one up is Mega V3. Rocket Voyager, controlled by TJ. It's just... It's just a large rocket ship. That's all it can really do. It's just a rocket ship, which looks kind of like a... Kind of looks like a you-know-what. And the only thing that it can really do is just, you know... Pop out the, uh... Pop out the rocket. Unfortunately, mine doesn't pop out very well. I don't... I don't know if it's broken or or if like does if, if that's how the toy is supposed to be. I'm not sure, but that's that's really that's just it for the rocket Voyager. That's just all it can do. Let's move on to Mega V4, which is the Saucer Voyager, which I think sounds like a really nice name. Saucer sounds saucy. Uh, <laughs> anyway, this is controlled by Ashley. It was just a saucer that can just shoot lasers from its wing from its wingtips, which again. Not really the not really a bad idea, but you know it's come on, it's a flying saucer. It's like should have at least have like have like a tractor beam or something. That would have been something. Doesn't have any any real articulation except maybe if you can like bend the cap forward, but that just reveals the fist. So that's pretty much it. And also, as you'll notice, there are no de decals on him. In fact, there's not any decals on any of these guys. Because unfortunately, the guy that didn't have didn't have the sticker sheet, so... Oh well. Next up, and finally, is Mega V5, the good old Tank Voyager, controlled by Cassie. Nothing really much to talk about this thing, it's just... just looks like a pair of shoes that have skis, and they can shoot lasers off their little cannons. That's... that's that's actually just, like, pretty much it for this guy. He, he can't really do, do nothing, except maybe if you want to, like, bend his feet in. Well, bend in the skates in and make it like that. But that's really its only real articulation, and they came apart. Wonderful. So, really, that's pretty much it for the five Zords by themselves. So now what do we do? We're going to transform it. Move this two out of the way here. First, we're going to take Mega V5. We're going to take it apart. Fold in the little skis. Pull down this little flap here. And these will, they will usually slide in. Like that. Repeat on this side. This one you gotta you gotta push in man, uh, manually. Click. We got the shoes. 
picks up. We're going to take good old, uh, we're going to take the rocket, obviously. Split that apart. And then we're going to connect them to the shoes, like that. So far, so good. Oh, let me take Robo over here. We then, we got to pull down his back, and basically do like the Shogazor thing. We just, we just fold the arms in like that. There we go. We fold up his little feet, pull down his little cannons, and then his feet slide in to the legs like this. It's a little difficult to get those in sometimes. Oh, wait. <laughs> my bad. I put him on the wrong feet. My bad. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There we go. Now then, he'll slide in just like that. We're going to take the middle piece to, uh, well, you know, and that's going to connect there like so. Next, we're going to take down the saucer, the uh, cab, and we're going to push the arms out. They are very hard to get out sometimes, so I would say handle with care, if you care a lot. Care a lot, care bears, yeah, you don't get it. Then we are going to fold these down, like that. Go. Yes, the yes the hands are a little difficult to get out sometimes, but anyway, these just connect on here like so. And then this part will just connect to the back, it'll click in. Then you just push on these little uh, tabs here and these will these will extend the hands. So we got that. The next what we do is take this guy, pull out the head. Stick it on top. So now we just got the completed Megazord with no with no decals. So then what we do, just for fun, we take this little tab here, and this will be a, a little bit of a holder, if you will. And that will connect here to the one hand. And then we will take this little uh, roof piece again, and it will gently connect to the other hand, and there we got the completed Mega Voyager. Now, I must say, I think this is one of the few Megazords out there in which everything is used to make it. I mean, everything. In this case, in this case, the each of the Zords are basically a weapon. Well, not all the Zords, just, just, just Carlos's and TJ's. Basically, the, basically the, the Zords are just the weapons. Because all you can do is just shoot out the little rocket, that's all That's all you can really do. But I really won't say that this is a bad Megazord. It really is not a bad Megazord. I actually will recommend this Megazord to anyone who really likes Power Rangers in space. So now we just take out the rocket real quick. I could talk about the articulation. It's only real articu articulation, just a 360 hand hand movement. That's all it can really do. There's really nothing else that, that this guy can do, because again, he is really... He's, like, really heavy sometimes, if you will. So, yeah. He, he really doesn't have that much articulation, but he's just really he's, he's just really good to look at, you know? He's just... Wow. Of course, it doesn't end there. When Zane comes along, we get the Mega Winger. And then, my, just like all six Ranger teams, they have to combine somehow. Unfortunately... It's only the wings that can connect. Now, what you gotta do is have your wings out completely like this. And then these will connect gently down here to the back. They will click in. Yeah, they're in. And now, you got the winged Mega Voyager. Kind of a weird name, but it's true. It's, it's winged, so... The only thing that it could do is just really just, like, fly around. It could just fly around... And it can just shoot off like flying flying rockets. That's all it that's all it could really do. So I'm guessing to just a certain extent, you can you can consider this to be a six ranger megazord, since it takes basically six zords to make this thing. Although maybe they, you know, could have found a way to make it so that the entire Mega Winger could like fit in here. So that way you could you could kinda 
kind of get, you know, like a little Ultra Zord going on here. I don't know how it would be possible, but I'm just saying it's just an idea. But overall, this is a great Megazord, guys. I definitely say pick him up. He is a very good centerpiece to your entire Power Ranger and Space Collection. Might I recommend you get him with the decals? So far, I am currently waiting to see if there is either A, a full sticker sheet on eBay, or B, that retro labels will come out with their own sticker sheet for the, for the Mega Voyager. It's probably unlikely. I really don't know what to really expect, but hey, we'll just have to cross the bridge when we get to it. So, there you go. Anyway, guys, that's it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great Thanksgiving, and I will see you around for another review. So, take care.